So in the next example, now, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking for cube roots. All right? So the cube root, instead of having pairs of numbers like we did in the last example, now we need to have sets of three. Well, I can't break down two. Obviously, x squared is only x times x. y squared is only y times y. So I can't take the cube root of anything over here. So I'm just going to rewrite it as is. 2x squared y squared times 2. However, the cube root, I can simplify the cube root. If I break down 15, though, I get two prime numbers 5 times 3. So I can't simplify the cube root of 15. But I can write x to the fifth as x cubed times x squared. By doing it that way, I can take the cube root of x cubed. So I'll rewrite this as 15x cubed times x squared times y. The reason why I did that, again, ladies and gentlemen, is because I, x cubed times x squared is the same thing as x to the fifth. Do you guys agree? Yes? I can take the cube root of x cubed. That's equal to x. So before I multiply, I simplify. The cube root of x cubed is just going to be x. 15x squared, I'm sorry, 15, yep, x squared, y. So now, Noah, I first multiply, I first simplified the second step. So the only thing I could simplify, the only thing I could simplify was the 1x cubed. Now the next thing is to multiply. So when you're multiplying, you multiply the numbers on the outside, and since they're both cube root, you can multiply your, you can multiply your terms in your radicand. So negative 2 times 2x is a negative 4x times the cube root. 2 times 15 is 30. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. And then I have a y. Now we look to simplify this again. And again, I see that x to the fourth, I can rewrite that as x cubed times x. Now, why do I want to write it as x cubed times x instead of x to the fourth? Because I know that I can take the cube root of x cubed. So my final answer is negative 4x times the cube root of third. Oh, sorry. x cubed is equal to x, right? So negative 4x times x, 30 times x, y. Because the cube root of x cubed is x. So my final answer is negative 4x squared times the cube root of 30xy. Now I cannot simplify these any further.